regime of former President Nicolas Maduro is illegitimate. We therefore consider all of its declarations and, and actions illegitimate and invalid. In light of these facts, we call on Venezuelan security forces to ensure the protection of interim President Guaido's physical integrity and his safety. We've seen reports that a number of protesters were killed yesterday and that more than 100 were arrested. So I reiterate our warning about any decision by remnant elements of the Maduro regime to use violence to repress the peaceful democratic transition. The United States did not arrive at this conclusion overnight. We came to this conclusion after a long and bitter experience and following a considered assessment of the facts. And we're not alone. The OAS General Assembly has itself agreed to these facts. In June of last year, the OAS General Assembly declared the re-election of former President Maduro an invalid sham. This past January 10th, the OAS Permanent Council declared former President Maduro's second term illegitimate. Venezuela's National Assembly became the only legitimate, duly, and democratically elected body in the country.